is a lamb. Taping, so just so you know. It is a lamb book, and it says, uh, this is how much people who write these stories don't know. Well, you know, lambs just drink their mother's milk for the longest time, and then they eat go, go to the field and eat grass. I have lambs that are already yeah. this bad, starting to nibble on, on hay. Oh, two weeks. Oh, yeah. It was in two weeks they're eating. It's like, where do these people get this stuff from? Yeah. Within two weeks they're eating, and oh they're yeah. drinking water. Yeah. See, that sun comes out in one of them. Jump around again, little guy. See, he's nuzzle, niddle, nibbling a little bit and checking it out. Oh, yeah. Well, yeah I think that's uh, And I think it makes a difference, like with my bottle says, leaving a U in with them. Yeah. They learn. Yeah, they learn they to nibble. They learn what to do. Jump around. These are all first time lammers that we're picturing right now. <laughs> this little guy was just born last night, I think. Yep. So he's just not quite, just shy of probably about 18, 20 hours right now. Thought I was going to have to help her and he went back inside. Came back out and came every way. She's got to hide and let her go across to here to this little set of twins. He's got a nice little ram in the corner, I think. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so she doesn't like me too much. No, she's, she's and the others are you? I've never seen the amount of blood this is, this is a, the first the lambing. This is a first time lammer. Nice yeah. little set of twins. Very good markings on them. Yeah. Oh. Walk in the water. Oh, that's what happened. That one. I've what? never had that happen before. I came what? I heard came out at midnight to check at last night and she was stuck in the water pail. <coughs> oh, I've had that. I've never had that before. Yeah, I've had them get stuck in the water. Oh, nope, they're playing too. Yeah. Fall in, yeah. Fall in the bucket. Fall in the bucket. You can tell they're healthy with that shiny black. Yeah. Hello, guys. How you doing? See, the sun comes out and they all get happy. I think that made a difference too. Yeah. I do. Yeah. Come back out. Oh, there you are. Now we need to film about. There's this little guy again. These other two were born yesterday. The yeah, other guys were all born yesterday. Born yeah. The twins? The day before? The twins were born. How does that work? Yeah, they're the yeah, they're the day yeah. before. Look. We're the second? Yeah. So they the twins are the third and first and these two were the first. Mm -hmm. So we have just under uh, 24 hours, and just over 24 hours, and probably about 36 to yeah. 40 hours, somewhere in that region. Yeah. And again, this is a first time you with a nice little set of twins. Two days old, roughly. Okay. So first time you with a nice little single ram. Doing really well. Milk's a little on the strong side for him. His butt keeps getting closed up with the really strong milk. So that's a good sign. Nice little you there. Yeah, yeah. Actually they're both quite nice. Yeah. 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 And this little guy just looking nice. I'm going to have a, a cuddle down into the... Oh, did I, my feet scared me. So he's going to lay down in the hay. And she's a nice calm you here. Not bothered by me being in their face at all. No, it only took me an hour to walk her up to <laughs> Both of them, we Is that is so that calm? <laughs> come on, guys. Come on. Oh, <laughs> there you go. Look how it's quite calm. They're balanced. Yeah. And these are 
our, our lambs at RTN Ranch in Poplar Field, Manitoba. And this is our Roseanne, <laughs> our shepherdess in residence. And this is what we have on offer this year. And if you want more information, you can get hold of Roseanne or you can call Lorna. And all the information will be on our website and you can link to that from either YouTube or on our website at walltowallsheep.com and we'll get you what you need. And you can come to us for some really nice genetics this year. All your ram needs and possibly even some nice purebred ewes might be available for outside sales. Just give us a call and I hope you really enjoyed our visit to the barn today. This is April 2nd, 2000 and, or 2015. And you have a really good day. Have a good Easter, everybody.